Are you not entertained? That's how I feel, man, with these entertainment fights, bro. Like, okay, we got Jake Paul and Nate Diaz squaring up tonight. They fight tonight. And I'm like, for one, why do they keep fighting fighters or boxing? I shouldn't say fighting. Going up against ex-MMA fighters in boxing matches. If you if they're going to keep setting up matches with ex MMA fighters where they use their entire body to take you down why not challenge them in their actual arena instead of trying to tie them to just boxing because I don't think like a lot of a lot of these MMA fighters really knock somebody like like I, I in my opinion I think that the majority of their knockouts or KOs or wins come from grappling or being able to kick somebody um, or set up their punch with their feet. You know what I'm saying? They get to use their entire body with with the style of fighting that they have versus boxing right and then i don't know if nate diaz is retired <laughs> but i was watching his uh youtube video and uh the road i think it's the road to dallas or something like that it's the most recent video i think that is on his youtube page and he just looked like somebody's drunk uncle on the corner you know what i'm saying like at the cookout at the barbecue getting on somebody's nerves you know and then his his the way his body was moving like i can see why he would do mma or something like that he looked like he can take the punishment but then also dish it out in a street fight where you get to use your entire body i got jake paul winning this fight um yeah, I got Jake Paul winning this fight. I don't know what this is. We're going to watch it. Y'all going to hear my review or whatever. This is what they weigh in. They weigh in, got heated or whatever. Nate Diaz, he threw a slap and a kick and a heated weigh in. So, yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, these fights, man, they didn't have ex-boxers i mean not ex-boxers ex-basketball players a lot like a, a lot of mma fights um social media fights it hasn't been an actual has there actually been an actual boxer to fight in these fights let me know please let me know and the, these are, in my opinion, entertainment fights now. I mean, like, in, I mean, boxing is entertainment, but it's not, these aren't, and I'm not saying that the Pauls aren't legit. They definitely open uh, a whole nother avenue for people who still got it in them to get some money and open up, like, hey, they open up a whole other stream in the uh, boxing world but at the same time this shit i'm like yo who are you fighting if you really if y'all really taking this serious if y'all really taking your boxing career serious get in the actual boxing circuit like and i'm not like they are like they training is real serious like come on y'all taking this too serious for y'all not to actually fight some actual boxers what's up with these mma mma fighters and i ain't saying that mma fighters because they got a box too they got a box punch they got a punch and kick punch and kick 
punch and kick, roundhouse, slap you with the back of the fist. But a lot of they, what they body is used to, they can't do no more. But I, again, I would love, I don't know. I don't know. Excuse me. Are you not entertained? That's how I feel. Are you not entertained? Like, look at 185 pounds, 185. Yeah, like you look like you, you look, he look in shape. This is why I got him winning. He look real in shape. Um, I seen, like, I watched, like, his, <laughs> his documentary that he got going on YouTube, too. His impersonations of uh, Nate Diaz is hilarious as shit. Um, like they they are the paws are very entertaining no lie no lie but but y'all gotta go watch the documentaries over there that shit is so hilarious and i ain't saying he don't look like he just look like somebody's drunk uncle that's ready to be in a bar fight I swear, <laughs> a straight brawl. Look at, he looked like he's ready to be in a brawl and not a boxing match. And I think that's a, a disadvantage. I think it's a disadvantage. Because you can't fight your style of fight. You can't fight. Like, you're not fighting your style of fight when you coming over. It's like uh, Floyd Mayweather versus, uh, what's his name? Shit, I forgot his name. Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor ain't had no chance in the ring with Mayweather. That was my opinion. I was like, oh, okay. But they, they both came in at, uh, Jake came in at 185 and Nate Diaz came in came in at 184.9 so 185 basically but um let me let me know who y'all got down in the comments who y'all who gonna win this fight who gonna win this fight and y'all can't tell me that Nate Diaz don't look like somebody's uncle at the cookout and getting on somebody damn there come on girl what you what you doing girl come here yeah, yeah, just sitting there, just talking shit. That's what he he looked like a shit talker. I mean, I love, it. <laughs> I love it, bro. I love it. Um, but good luck to both of these fighters tonight. Um, again, I got Jake Paul. I don't know what round he's gonna win. I don't even know how many rounds they be fighting. But uh, yeah, I got Jake Paul in this one. <laughs> Nate look like right here. Nate just look like in that freeze frame. Nate just look like he's having fun in his in his face. He just look like he's having fun. So, but anyway, it's your girl Ish. It's been you've been watching ITTB TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Again, let me know who you I got winning this fight down in the comments. I have a blessed one as always. Everything is motivation. Peace out. 2023, here we go yet again. Stomping on you bitches like your motherfucking friend. Sound kind of crazy, it's the closest in the end. Keep something tough, 380 in the wind. Square that bitch once, 20 rounds, get the M. Staying real humble, ain't give me what I want. Gotta pop my shit to take what I'm owed.